Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to wire up a potentiometer, and how to identify which pin is which. I will first hook up my multimeter's probes to the two outer pins, and set the multimeter to resistance measuring. In most of the cases the outer two pins are used as input pins for the voltage it can handle, while the middle pin is the output pin. If I now spin the potentiometer clockwise, we can see that the value isn't changing at all on the multimeter. When this is the case we have found out which two pins are used for the input voltage. This means that the middle pin should be the output pin. To be 100% sure the middle pin is our output pin I will swap one of my probes to the middle pin of the potentiometer. As you can see now that I spin it clockwise the resistance will go from 0 up to 10. If I now keep the probe on the middle pin but swap the other probe to the right pin of the potentiometer. When I twist the potentiometer clockwise now it will instead go from 10 down to 0. It's working vice versa too as if I kept the probe on the left pin. We now know for sure that the middle pin is our output pin. So now that we identified which is our input and output pins, how do we know where to put the plus and minus? We can simply test it out. It works so that if we do it one way the potentiometer will go give out 0 to 10 voltage on the output pin if going clockwise. Else if we swap the plus and minus, it will go from 10 down to 0 voltage when we twist it clockwise. I will now put 10 voltage DC on the left pin of the potentiometer and zero voltage DC on the right pin. I will turn the multimeter to measure voltage DC and put the probes between the output pin and zero voltage DC. As you can see now the potentiometer starts at 10 voltage out and go down to zero when I twist the potentiometer clockwise. In most cases this is not how we want the potentiometer to work. So I will swap my 0 and 10 voltage DC on the potentiometer. I will also need to swap my probe with the 0 voltage DC to measure it correctly. If I test it out now the potentiometer will go from 0 up to 10 voltage DC when I twist it clockwise. So 
So now that we know how to wire a potentiometer you can start use it in any application you gonna do. You simply connect your potentiometer's output as plus and then connect the same minus that you use for your potentiometer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.